Hi, um, this is Kumar uh, Pandravada. I would like to record the second part of it. Uh, I, like I explained how to hit the uh, first job in Hyderabad. And the second thing is uh, not necessarily a mess in New Year's. I would like to say why you want to do post-graduation. I mean, whether it is MCA or MTech uh, or MS in New Year's. So there are many forums in uh, Facebook and uh, Google as well. I mean, uh, I've gone through a couple of things. Uh, MS in US and how to write GRE, GMAT, TOEFL, all that blah, blah, blah. I'm not trying to explain here, but I want to give an in, in general idea based on the emails or uh, phones. I, I talked to a couple of guys. Uh, uh, the first thing is, uh, unfortunately in India, like I mean, the education sponsored by the parents or the government. So... Uh, it's enough if you are a graduate and don't uh, bother your parents or father or mother for your post-graduation. I mean, according to my personal experience, uh, you have to do post-graduation at your expenses, not at someone's expense. And someone asked me if M-Tech in Andhra University or M-Tech in Osman University is better or if I get MS in particular university in USA, which one is better? I mean, those kind of queries I got. but. I honestly say don't take financial risk in life. I mean, of course, there is no life without risk, but don't take huge financial risk uh, at someone's cost. So if you get M-Tech in uh, RAC or any good colleges in India, go ahead. That is a better option than leaving the country to do MS in uh, some foreign land. But always MS in abroad is, uh, uh, air studies in abroad is always an advantage. And many guys ask me, uh, so many uh, uh, emails or maybe questions, the questions general in is uh, how do I come, how do I come for MS in US and all that. Like for that you need to search for the forums. I am not giving a lecture here but what I am trying to communicate here is first of all you should know why you want to study MS in US. See when I applied for uh, student visa in 96, uh, this question asked me, I mean I should have an answer. Uh, someone said I will give a two, li two lines reply. No, I, you have to write two pages. Your heart has to convince you why you want to study MS in abroad or MS in USA. Your aim is only just to come to USA uh, through Tri-Valley University or like that. No, don't choose such kind of uh, universities. There are many universities here. You have to uh, search it because internet is available. Guys came here those days when there was no internet in India. So you have to imagine what kind of hard work they did. So when you have internet, so the advantage is you have everything in front of your laptop or on the screen. So you have to do hard work. There is no shortcut and there is no spoon feeding systems here. And uh, why you want to do? I, uh, I requested some of the guys who ever asked me uh, on the question. Then I asked them to send two pages document so that... He, uh, not for me. I mean to say your art should convince you first and the second thing is uh, you should write an SOP statement of purpose for the universities and as well as the consulate also you should know. You, you cannot say uh, uh, some uh, blah 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 answers. You have to have a firm determination to do a miss or higher studies in abroad. Okay, that is point one. Point two, after you plan Writing TOEFL, GMAT or GR is no, no big deal. Uh, in fact, I uh, took the coaching from Visu Consulting uh, in Hyderabad, but some of my cousins uh, who sit in the same room uh, without taking any coaching, they got high scores in TOEFL, GR and GMAT as well. I, I got shocked. So what I realized is you should have a focus, planning and then hard work. If you don't have these three, then there's no point if you go... Uh, and a top 10 in institutes for training to write GFL, sorry, TOEFL and GMAT or GRE, whatever it is. So it's all required proper planning during your third year graduation. And then by the time you finish it, you should be able to get a seat in MTech and as well as the uh, seat in MS in university, any university in abroad. And uh, many guys also ask me uh, as if they are leaving for the US uh, for getting the visa. If you get visa, no one can stop you in India. That's how the power of the US visa. So you will take some loan and buy a air ticket and you will come here and you will manage on your own if your parents resist you. That is the that is one case one. Case two, you have to analyze or study about uh, do's and don'ts in America. So many guys, they come here and drive 
drive without license or uh, without international license even and then say i take risk to uh, give a ride to my friend from airport to room no all that first of all you want to aim for uh, higher studies in any country not especially in usa you have to study the law first or do some don'ts because god also if you know the god he can't help you uh, if you break the law or if you play with the local law in a foreign land it, this is not in india there is no shortcut there is no mla or somebody to call and release you from the jail no so you have to know all those things first before you apply for a uh, university i want to send all okay then there are many forums so you go through it and uh, about the uh, tofel gre ag mat uh, and all you can write on your own you can apply for universities online that is one case two uh, you can go through visa consulting career overseas in hyderabad or different there are many consulting companies only thing they charge some 25 i am not sure of the uh, fees as of now but they, i paid those days uh, 25 to 30000 rupees to get a bank letter i mean to not the bank letter to get i20 so many either i have to sit in front of a computer and apply for four or five universities or i have to pay them money to do this task or through their uh, uh, universities to get the applications okay excuse me so there are two types you can apply so if you have patience and you want to save money do it by yourself and check with the friends in usa whether that university has a credentials or reviews how it is where it is and all that that is studying coming here studying here is different and after that getting a job is different so you have to know all these uh, things by hand when you are in the homeland Uh, not just blindly somebody did so you want to do ms because your seniors did not like that so you have to study because some guys uh, study ms mechanical chemical engineering but could not get a job and then finally moved to it and they struggled a lot and more learning new they feel that uh, information technology is something like a ghost and they don't want to learn so not that like you have to have everything information on hand on handy and then you have to have a plan how to prepare how to go about it and all and uh, also you have to uh, uh, check the finances you should not be burdened to a foreign land when you are coming for uh, studies uh, for your medical or anything that is one i am not giving opt cpt and all because you will come back and ask what is opt and all so you have to have a plan uh, write exams get i want is from the university it's an admission card and try to convince the in interviews that uh, you are not burdened to the go- local government after that uh, if it, if it is re- visa issued is one visa never use reject there is nothing called reject for f1 it is a refuse so you go uh, check your documentation if it is a uh, refuse then go for uh, the second time visa interview based on the I- another i20 or the same i20 you have to check what you did mistake in the first attempt and after that you will reappear for the interview and once you get the um, visa then you will plan accordingly and then uh, that th- th- there are two types of guys i mean one they do uh, seriously ms here and then some they do uh, in an like an average student like me do an ms okay but you have to aim for uh, uh, top 10 universities or uh, the top 10 courses so that if you do ms here it should get you a job here otherwise there is no fun by taking 20 lakhs 30 lakhs of indian rupees uh, bank loan uh, there and then come here and uh, you yourself stressed a lot because of the huge finance loan you took and then uh, pass the same stress to your parents so don't do those kind of circuses here i have seen that's the reason i'm uh, explaining here okay that is one and uh, after you finish ms you should get a job just like in india after you finishes your btech as soon as you finishes you have to join the workforce not sit at home and do ccn courses or any other how long do you do a course like i mean if you don't sleep for uh, four for two to two weeks then it's more than enough to learn the subject and then hit based on that into the market but if you do ms if you don't get the job on that relevant subject what you did then there is no point there is no meaning of doing higher studies here and those some of the questions you have to convince in the consulate as well like there are many iits and uh, many wonderful institutes in india why do you want to do ms in 
abroad this is not for concert this is your art has to convince you first uh, you should have a dream i mean for example uh, i will get a 500 dollar car in us and uh, which i cannot get in a lifetime in india or uh, those kind of one something has to uh, prompt you in your heart i mean i want to do a mess in abroad i want to come back or i want to study continue there do phd or i want to continue there for a jobs that is my dream or you you should have that kind of dream otherwise uh, there is no point in doing a mess here just like we have uh, so many thousands of beta colleges in andhra the same way uh, you will end up doing uh, nothing here so be focus have a dream why you want to do what you want to do and uh, what you want to do after finishing it whether you want to go back or you want to stay and then hit a good job and all that and uh, yeah have a good luck and uh, send me any questions on the email thank you